money doesn't make you happy, or at least that's my opinion and view on money as of lately. As a matter of fact, I used to be a huge preacher for money is everything. Money will make you happy. Money equals happiness. You just need to know how to spend it correctly. And I was a firm believer of that until I made good money. Now, granted, how do you define good money? Well, that's a great question. I think that's subjective to who you are as a person. But I made good money for my world and for my standards and, and for the things that I wanted to. I was able to comfortably do a lot of different things. I could buy 99% of the things that I truly wanted at that moment in time. And I don't have, I'm not a huge materialistic person. So yes, I can't buy a fucking jet. Yes, I can't buy a Lamborghini. I understand that. But I'm not a very materialistic person. So those things wouldn't bring me extra joy. And once I had, you know, like I said, I used to be a huge firm believer. Once I had got the money, I realized that I had kept buying things. I, I would keep buying things for myself. Yet I would get no happier. And then I had to sit down with myself one day and, and, and really chat with myself and go, I keep buying things and I'm not getting happier. And that's when I realized that with money, you can buy a bed, but you can't buy sleep. With money, you can buy food, but you can't buy appetite. With money, you can buy a clock, but you can't buy time. You see, money can buy you these external things, but it really can't buy you the true things that matter in life. Right? Money can buy you a girlfriend, but it can't buy you true love. And the list goes on and on and on. And that's when I, I humbled myself and I came to a conclusion that money in and of itself will not make you happy. Now, yes, money can be a tool, but at the end of the day, all the money in the world means nothing if you don't have somebody to spend it with, right? If you don't have the time to spend it, money means nothing. And that's when I had to really sit back and reanalyze my life and go like, whoa, well, wait a minute. If money isn't everything and making more money doesn't inherently make me happier, then what am I chasing? What is my goal in life? And that's when I watched an interview or a quote from Kobe, which basically talked about how everybody has a why. I want to be the best so that I can. I want to be the best so that there's always a contingent. And Kobe said, that I don't care about the so that. I just want to be the best because I love the process. Now, Alex Ramosi talked about this as well. He says, I don't think I have a so that. If I look back and reflect on my life, the happiest times were the times when I was in pursuit of something big. And it wasn't getting the thing that I wanted. It was the pursuit of something good that made it worth doing. And that shocked me because I was like, whoa. That's so true in my life as well. The, the times where I've been the most filled, the times where I've been the most happy is not where I've made the most amount of money, but it's where I've been in pursuit of something so big. It was beyond my perception of reality and I was pursuing something bigger than myself and I was fulfilled by changing people's lives on a day-to-day -day basis. That's when I sat there and went, you know what? Maybe money isn't everything in life. And I changed my outlook on money. I changed my outlook on business. I changed my outlook on life and I no longer was money driven but I was purpose driven. And so now, whether or not I collect money in my bank account today, my life doesn't change. My quality of life does not differentiate dependent on how much money I made. You see, no, my success, my happiness, my purpose, my fulfillment in life is determined by what I do. It's determined by the process. It's determined by the actions that I put in on a day to day basis. And man, this is something I wish I knew earlier. Because if you can love and enjoy the process, and this is so cliche, trust me, I'm aware. But if you can truly love and enjoy the process, your life becomes so much more fulfilling and the money comes easier. And that was the craziest thing for me is that when I stopped prioritizing the money, when I stopped glorifying the money, when I stopped worshiping the money, is when I made more money. Because I took my focus on off, I took my focus off how can I make more money, but instead I took my, I put my focus on how can I help more people, how can I change more lives, how can I live with more purpose, and when I started doing that, the money came, and that was where I was like, whoa, there there's so much more to this life than making money, there's so much more than having all the money in the world, because if I told you right now, hey, listen, I'll give you a trillion dollars, but you die tomorrow, would you take that deal? Well, most of you would say no, because all the money in the world is not worth giving up your life because this life is so precious. And so it saddened me when I realized I was wasting most of my life trying to glorify a thing that when I got didn't impact my life to the extent that I thought it would. And so now I've switched my mentality and changed my mindset to, 
I'm not money oriented. I'm not revenue oriented. I'm not focused on how can I make the most amount of money possible because money makes me happy. Because I realize that's not the end goal and that isn't the truth. Now granted, let me be very clear. Do I want to make more money? Yes. But is making the money the thing that makes me happy? No. It's the pursuit of that. It is the things that I get to do with that money. When I make a lot of money, I can help other people more. I can make sure the people around me are taken care of and provided for and live a good life. I can donate. I can give back. I can help those in need. I can have more of an impact. You see, money amplifies who you are as a human being. I'm, I'm a huge believer that money just amplifies who you are. And so if, you're, if you are a good human being and you have good intentions, the money will amplify that and make you even even better human being because you can do things greater. And so, yes, of course, I still want to make more money, right? If I didn't, I just, I would stop business. I guess, well, you could actually pause because I do business because I, I am in pursuit of something so big that it seems scary, which is exactly what makes it worth doing, right? That's a quote from uh, Chris Williams, Chris Williamson, one of the two. And so... You could argue that side of the table as well. But I think the, the main takeaway and, and the reason why I really wanted to record this video and sit down and reflect back on myself because realistically, yes, sometimes I make these videos for you guys, but mainly I make these videos for myself, for myself to uh, talk with myself and I guess share my thoughts and, and honestly uh, reflect back on my life and go that I was prioritizing and glorifying something that meant so little, which in hindsight was a stupid mistake. And I'd urge you all to not do the same thing I did because it was stupid. So if there's one takeaway that I could give you, it's that buying more things will not make you happy. Even I'm not at this stage yet, so I guess I can't confidently say this, but I truly believe that after I've bought my first supercar, I bought my first McLaren 765 LT Spider. Buying the second and third and fourth and fifth won't make me nearly as happy. As a matter of fact, I'd argue it wouldn't make you incrementally any happier. The first time, yes, because that's a dream come true. The second and third and fourth time, no, because that huge dopamine hit has gone away. And I think happiness is found in your purpose in life. Now, granted, there's so many more things and I'm still learning. So, heck, I probably don't know a lot of things. But I think that happiness is found in your purpose in life. What are you put on this planet for? Why did God put you on this earth? As a matter of fact, there is a one in 400 trillion chance that you would be born. One in 400 trillion. That are the odds that you are on this earth today. And the fact that out of the seven, almost eight billion people that we have on this planet, you are sitting here watching this video, try and calculate the odds that somebody who's one in 400 trillion is listening to somebody else who's one in 400 trillion. That is an incredible statistic. It's no coincidence, okay? And so with that thought in mind, I urge you to reevaluate and think, what is it you're truly trying to chase? Is it really money? Is money the true thing? And now as a matter of fact, if you haven't made a ton of money, I don't say this rudely, if you haven't made a ton of money, maybe it is. But that's because you don't know yet. I feel like most entrepreneurs, they, chase, they start off chasing the money or they start off trying to pr prove people are wrong or start off trying to uh, do X, Y, and Z. And then once they do that, once, pe once they've made the money or once they've proved the people wrong, they realize that that wasn't even the real goal. That was like a temporary thing that was in the back of their mind. Like, oh, I broke up with my girlfriend, I'm gonna start a business. It's like, that may be the temporary thing you think of, but that's not the real under underlying reason why. Everybody, I feel like everybody has some deep down rooted reason why they're doing what they do for more than just the money. Because at the end of the day, if I told you you get all the money in the world, but you die tomorrow, you wouldn't take it. If I told you you get all the money in the world, but all your family dies and all your friends die, you probably wouldn't take it. If I told you you get all the money in the world, but you can't leave your bed for the rest of your life, you probably wouldn't take it. And so when you think about it that way, money isn't the true thing we want. I'd argue most of us, we want purpose. You see, why do I say that? Well, people, when you ask anybody all, what do you want most in time? Well, I want money. Okay, well, why do you want money? And ask yourself this. What do you want most in life? Well, money. Let's say you say that. Well, why do you want money? Well, I want money so I can buy back my time. Okay, but what would you do with all the time? Like, what? okay, I'll give you all the time. But what if you just sit in your room all day? Why not, why not do that? Okay, well, it's because you want to do what with your time? Well, you want to do the things you enjoy. You want to do what makes you feel fulfilled in life. You want to do what makes you feel purposeful. You want to do something that makes you wake up and want to wake up and get out of bed. And so if we can realize 
before we get to that stage that, oh, the real thing we want is just a purpose-driven, fulfilling life, we can shortcut many years, many, many, many years of going through suffering to just understand that now. So I'd ask yourself, go through the exercise. What do I want? Okay, I want this. Well, why do you want this? Well, I want it because I can do this. Okay, well, why do you want that? I want it so I can do this and get to the end point. Well, why do you want a purpose-driven life? Well, if I didn't have a purpose and driven and fulfilling life, what would be the reason for living? Right? If we were just matter and energy, right, as, as some people suggest we are, right? If, we're, if we just catapulted into each other from two colliding orbits and we, we just magically came from a bacteria and turned into a bug and now we're a monkey, now we're a person, we would have no innate feeling to love. We'd have no purpose. We would just be energy and matter. And so I'd like to think there's something more in this life than just us being energy and matter walking around the earth mindlessly. I think there's a purpose for life. Now, we can sit here and debate that there might be different things. Everybody has their own opinion on that. But I feel like there's a purpose in life. And there is life is here for you to do something meaningful. And so when I thought about that way, well, why don't I just do that now? And so therefore, realistically, the thing I want in life, I'm already doing. Imagine if you could wake up every day and do what you already wanted to do with your life. That'd be pretty cool, hey? Because most of us, oh, I, I want to do nothing. No, that's not true. You don't want to do what you want. What if you wake up every day and the thing you want to do is the thing you do? Pretty cool, hey? And that's what my life has turned to. And so I wanted to share this story for, like I said, myself, but also for others. Perhaps it might inspire you. It might cause you to reflect back on yourself. It might cause you to reevaluate and think for a second that, huh, Maybe there's more to life than what I think there is. And that's what I urge you all to ask yourself if you're watching this video. Is what is truly the reason I'm doing what I do? You want to provide for your mother? Cool. Why? Why? There's always a deeper reason why. And ask yourself that. Once you get to the end, do that today. Because I can almost promise you that most of your answers won't need money. You want a loving family? Go spend more time with your family. Put your phone away. Be with them. That's all I have for today. Hope that you enjoyed. Um, and stay tuned for more videos of me reflecting on my life, reflecting on my life, sharing advice as I build a multi seven figure business as a young kid who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, who dropped out of university a year ago. Peace.